What's going on, family? Today we reviewing the new Eminem album, The Depth of Slim Shady. If this your first time here, make sure you go check out the other content. We do film, sports, and music on the channel. So check all that out. Subscribe to the channel. Click that like button. Now, to get into this album, right? And I'm not going to do the overreaction. There's been some people saying, yo, this album trash. He came back, same content, and it's trash. There's been some people... Loving this album. Oh, man, this one of Eminem's top three albums. This is... Okay, chill. It's not a top three album. That's still Slim Shady, Marshall Mathers, The Eminem Show. That's his top three albums. It ain't a horrible album either. This is a pretty good album. It was some stuff done on this that I thought was real good. And you could tell that Eminem had direction on this album. He ain't had direction on the album since Kamikaze. Kamikaze and this album, The Death of Slim Shady, is his two best albums because he told his story in the first three albums. We got his story. And he did make a kind of mistake on this in certain elements of it. Really, when he got to the back half, that's when I really was like, ugh, this is giving me revival vibes, all right, on some of these songs, all right, or Mockingbird Part 2, but we already heard Mockingbird, Mockingbird was dope when I heard Mockingbird, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, it's like he kind of reverted back to that and almost made the same song, you see what I'm saying, and on other elements of this, it felt like he was making the same song too, all right, just being honest, but, you know, this was a real good album for Eminem at this time, all right? It's one of his best projects in all of his projects. I would say it's definitely top five. It's between that four to six range. You got Kamikaze, Encore, which Encore was one of the most disappointing albums for me in the history of hip hop. Because it was coming off Eminem show, I was like, Eminem coming? You know, and I ain't a dude that hate on Eminem, where I'm like, yo, Eminem ain't top 50. And I don't do that, all right? I got Eminem in my top 10. I understand, depending on your age, if some people have them top 20, top 25. Because, you know, it's some dudes that started listening to hip-hop in 84. And you heard they listen, and they be like, uh, KRS-One and Rakim. And you be like, ugh, okay. I, I get it, though, because you older. You know what I'm saying? So you got them in it but what people don't really account for people don't really say like those dudes runs wasn't that long you really got to think about it krs one run wasn't that long rock him rock him run was really short ice t run was really short you see what i'm saying they run wasn't that long but they still get held in high regards and then we will Take a guy like Eminem, who's still been putting out projects and people still go listen to Eminem projects. We'll take him and really try to drop him down because he made some projects that wasn't good. But his first three out the gate, which covers a lot of they run, is like some of the best quality ever. And I'm a peak guy. You know, that's why I got Kobe ranked so high. I'm a peak guy. I know Kobe's peak is right there with Michael Jordan. I know that. Randy Moss peak is right there with Jerry Rice. Probably higher, in my opinion. Tupac's peak is, you know, basically unmatched, in my opinion. You know, Eminem peak is top 10, in my opinion. You know, that's how I look at it, right? So, I'm not one of these dudes that be hating on Eminem. Now, when you get into this album, you go straight off with Renaissance. This sets the album off. And towards the end, the bars he give up when he start talking about Kendrick Lamar, when he start talking about himself, uh, Wu-Tang, all of that was fire. The great introduction to the album. And then you get Habits. Those two songs are like my favorite songs on this album. Habits is probably the best song on the album, in my opinion. And then Renaissance is one of my favorites. He do like he do got like other stuff on her that I like. I liked Houdini. That was the single. I like uh, you know, Roll Rage, Fuel, Antichrist, Lucifer. It, it's stuff on her that I really liked about it. His rapping, you know, is 
very good to me. I hated Brand New Dance, though. The other songs on the album were good songs. I liked the rapping that he did. I mean, it's Eminem. He always going to rap good. The courses was better than they have been in probably 15 years, all right, from a course standpoint. He had better courses on this than he'd had in 15 years. Some of the production did sound the same. Like, I got that from listening to it. You know, I'm like, okay, this song sounds just like that song. That's why his cadence is like the same on a lot of these songs, you know. But the content that he touched on, I thought was good, real good. I agree with him on the content, but it does make me feel like Eminem need to retire. He literally need to retire. He did the death of Slim Shady. This one would be a great album for you to retire and go into more of a, you know, running a studio and, um, you know, having artists. And I know he already got that, but really doing it properly and working with artists and developing artists for the future. You know, that's what I think Eminem should do because if he continues to make albums like this, because this is where he is best at making albums. This type of content that he got on this made this album what it was. He raps better when he raps about this type of content. He can't continue to do that. That's why I say he needs to retire. They're going to be trying to cancel Eminem. And I'm not talking about cancel Eminem like how other people try to cancel him. Oh, he white and he one of the greats in hip hop. Let's cancel him. No, no, no. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about some of the stuff that he's talking about on her. And I agree with him 100%. All right. But they going to hate Eminem. They probably already hate Eminem. Like. Looking for ways to cancel them and stuff like that. I knew something was up when I went to look for this album. So this is Eminem, one of the highest selling artists of all time. The highest selling hip hop artist of all time. Why I'm going to Apple Music and I got to go to Eminem's direct page in order to get this album. When it first dropped. This when it matters. It first come out, you know, people go to the browse section. What albums dropped? I knew M was coming soon, so I was able to go, hold on, let me check and see if M dropped. And then I seen it. But if people didn't know that, they wouldn't have seen it. So he he is not on the mainstream of the browse page for Apple Music. When you go to new albums, he not on it when you scroll over, too. He wasn't when it first dropped. So I'm like, yo, why they doing Eminem like that? Oh, he must have went in. He must have went in. And then when you heard it, he went in. But I just think, you know, he can't continuously make this content, especially at his age. He don't have a bunch of the media going to turn on him, right? And they probably looking for ways to turn on him now because he discussed a lot of stuff, which was good stuff. I wish he'd go, like, more in-depth about these topics, though, instead of just saying, like, little little lines that's funny. You know, I wish he'd just go, go more in-depth about it. You know, but um, yeah, man, I, I enjoyed this album. You know, I think this was one of his best ones in a while since Kamikaze. You know, I think Kamikaze and this have definitely been the two projects that I enjoy from Eminem since the Eminem show. Now, when you take everything into account, we do seven stars on the channel seven. It's the number of completion. I'm going to give this album a... 5.4, all right? Uh, only reason I'm going 5.4, it was, you know, similar content. It was expected. And then some of the production was, you know, very similar. And his rap and his cadence was like the same on a lot of songs. And then when you get to the back half of this, you know, he got into that revival bag. I wasn't really feeling that, you know, and I got to be honest, some of the songs was very high for me and some was just like, eh, you know, so I'm going to go 5.4. If you do the math on that, that's a 77% C plus for this album. Good album, in my opinion. Very good album. But y'all let me know, what do you think about this album? Did you enjoy it? Do you think it's one of his greatest albums of all time? Put it down in the comments. As always, if this is your first time here, make sure you sub to the channel. Check out the other content. Click that like button. Y'all be easy. Be safe.
Peace.